In this lesson I will illustrate the pons, medulla oblongata and the mesencephalon, the midbrain, from the basal point of view. First I illustrated the medulla oblongata. It means the extended spinal cord in Latin. Here it is. These two structures are the pyramids of medulla oblongata. They are the elevations caused by the corticospinal tract. It is the tract that goes from the cortex of the brain through the pyramids and down to the spinal cord. Those two pyramids are separated by the medium fissure in the middle. And then we have these round bodies, a bit more lateral from pyramids. They are called the olivary bodies. There are also elevations made by the olivary nucleuses inside. The olivary bodies are separated from the pyramids of the medulla oblongata by the anterolateral sulcus. So this sulcus over here and over there was the anterolateral sulcus. And this was the medium fissure. Then comes the pons. In Latin it means the bridge. This part was the pons and here is the border to the medulla oblongata. After I photoshop it a little bit, this is how it looks like. On the basal side of the pons, there is not much to see. These structures over here are the peduncles that connect the pons to the cerebellum. Cerebellum is supposed to be behind over here, but I did not illustrate it in this image. One more thing, this here is the basilar sulcus. It is called like that because the basilar artery goes here. And the artery is called like that because it's on the basal side of the pons. Then comes the mesencephalon, the midbrain. It has two structures here and here. They are called the cerebral crust. And between them there is the interpeduncular fossa. Now I will talk about the cranial nerves. I will not talk about their functions nor their nucleuses. I will just mark the places where they will leave the brainstem. If you want to learn about that, please check out my other videos or check out my website flashbrainanatomy.com. Now I will continue on with explaining you the places where they will leave. We can find one nerve over here in the interpeduncular fossa. It is called the oculomotor nerve. Here we can find the trigeminal nerve and same on the other side and we can also find the motor root of the trigeminal nerve and same on the other side. As we said this is the border between the pons and the medulla. This over here was the border between the mesencephalon, the midbrain up there and the pons over here. Now from this border we have the abducens coming out. Then we have the facial nerve, the vestibulocochlear nerve and the glossopharyngeal nerve. Another nerve, the tenth nerve of the cranial nerves is here and it's called the vagus. Same on the other side. more caudal from the vagus we have the accessory nerve. Coming from the anterolateral sulcus that means between the olivary body and the pyramid is the hypoglossal nerve. And at the end I want to show you one more thing. Let's remember the borders. This is the border between the mesencephalon and the pons. This was the border between the pons and the medulla oblongata. And down more caudal we find the decussatio pyramids. It is the place where the pyramids exchange the fibers, almost 80% of the fibers. And that place is the border between the medulla oblongata and the spinal cord down there. But in relation to the spinal nerves, the cranial nerves, it is important to know that 
close to the dexatio pyramids, the first spinal nerve leaves the spinal cord. It leaves from the anterolateral sulcus, just like the hypoglossal nerve. Uh, this was a lesson about the brain stem and about the cranial nerves. If you liked it, if you like my drawings, my illustrations, please subscribe or like and check out my website flashbrainanatomy.com.